Half-Life has some unique and technologically advanced firearms. In this video, I'm going to focus on the Gluon Gun. What makes it so special and powerful? Let's find out. Gluon Gun, which also called as Quantum Destabilizer or D-Gun, is one of the advanced weapons in game. It kinda resembles Proton Pack from Ghostbusters. You get this experimental weapon in Chapter 14, Lambda Complex. The scientist who designed it says that he is too hesitant on trying this against a live beings, but since you have no problem of murdering things anyway, you pick it up. Gluon Gun fires pure laser beam of death. It yields enough power to disintegrate organic matters in seconds making it one of the most powerful weapons in the game. It has low recoil and can deal long-range damage as well. Just like Tau Cannon, Gluon Gun uses depleted Uranium-235 as ammunition. To balance things up, it can hold 100 ammo at max, so it doesn't hold a lot and finding its ammo isn't as easy as 9mm bullets. Some of you might have wondered one thing about Gluon Gun. What does the right click do? Apparently, it only fidges the weapon and that's it. But it wasn't always like this. Apparently, the weapon's supposed to have another fire mod. Turning its handle was letting you to switch from its laser beam from wide mod to narrow mod. Narrow mod was making the laser beam less powerful so you could use it on weaker enemies without draining much energy. But the future got cut in development and we only got wide mod. Gluon Gun doesn't appear in other Half-Life games for obvious reasons, but here how it looks with high res textures. And here how it looks in Black Mesa. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you enjoyed this analysis video. If you want to see an analysis video of a weapon you like, please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and take care.